ఏకశిలా తోరణంతో ఓరుగల్లు నగరాన్ని ఏకశిల నగరంగా మార్చిన శిల్పులు సాక్షిగా వేయి స్తంభాలతో వేల సంవత్సరాలైన చెక్కు చెదరకుండా నిలబడే గుడులు నిర్మించిన ఉజ్జులు సాక్షిగా గొలుసుకట్టు చెరువులతో నీటిని ఒడిసిపట్టే బీడు భూముల్లో సిరులు పండించిన కాకతీయ ఇంజనీరింగ్ సాక్షిగా భాగవతాన్ని భారతీయానికి అందించిన బొమ్మెరపోతున్న సాక్షిగా నా తెలంగాణ కోటి రత్నాల వీణని గొంతి గొంతెత్తి పాడిన దాసరిది సాక్షిగా పుట్టుక నీది చావు నీది మధ్యలో బతుకంతా దేశానిది అని దేశభక్తిని రగిలి రగిలించిన కాళోజీ సాక్షిగా నన్ను ఈ కార్యక్రమానికి పిలిచిన ఎన్ఐటి విద్యా సంస్థకు ఈ ఊరుగల్ల గడ్డ గడ్డకు ధన్యవాదం ఈరోజున ఎన్ఐటి వరంగల్ వారు నిర్వహిస్తున్న స్ప్రింగ్ స్ప్రీ కల్చరల్ కార్యక్రమానికి నన్ను స్వాగతోపన్యాసం కోరటం నిజంగా నేను చాలా అదృశ్యంగా భావిస్తున్నాను ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు బిగిన్ బై థ్యాంకింగ్ ద ఆర్గనైజింగ్ కమిటీ ఫర్ ద ఇన్విటేషన్ ఐ లైక్ టు థ్యాంక్ ప్రొఫెసర్ రమణ ఎన్వి రమణారావు గారు డైరెక్టర్ ఎన్ఐటి వరంగల్ ప్రొఫెసర్ రవికుమార్ పులి డీన్ స్టూడెంట్ వెల్ఫేర్ ప్రొఫెసర్ హీరాలాల్ ఫ్యాకల్టీ అడ్వైజర్ శ్రీ నరేంద్ర నాయక్ ఈవెంట్ మేనేజర్ అండ్ స్టూడెంట్ కౌన్సిల్ వైభవ్ రెడ్డి అండ్ స్టూడెంట్ కోఆర్డినేటర్స్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆనంద్ కిషోర్ గారు ఫార్మల్ ఫ్యాకల్టీ అడ్వైజర్ డీన్స్ అడ్వైజర్స్ రిజిస్ట్రార్ హెడ్ ఆఫ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ స్టూడెంట్ కోఆర్డినేటర్స్ మిస్టర్ అజయ్ గురునాథ్ పీయూష్ మిస్ అమూల్య హారిక మిస్టర్ లోకేష్ స్టూడెంట్ కౌన్సిల్ సెక్రటరీస్ మిస్టర్ దేవరాజ్ మిస్టర్ వైభవ్ అండ్ అదర్స్ రెస్పెక్టెడ్ ఫ్యాకల్టీస్ సపోర్టింగ్ స్టాఫ్ డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ అండ్ పార్టిసిపెంట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ వేరియస్ కాలేజెస్ ప్రెస్ అండ్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్ మీడియా లేడీస్ అండ్ జెంటల్మెన్ అ వెరీ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ టు ఆల్ నన్ను మీ స్టూడెంట్ కౌన్సిల్ ఈ కల్చరల్ ఫెస్టివల్కి పిలవగానే నేను ఒకటి అడిగాను నేను ఈ ఫంక్షన్కి రావడం ఐ మై వర్త్ కమింగ్ హియర్ ఐ మై వర్త్ బీయింగ్ కాల్ ఐ హ్యావ్ మై డౌట్స్ బికాస్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ అ రెగ్యులర్ స్టూడెంట్ ఐ నెవర్ వెంట్ టు కాలేజెస్ ఐ నెవర్ వెంట్ టు దో ఐ వెంట్ టు కాలేజ్ డిస్కంటిన్యూడ్ కాలేజ్ నెవర్ వెంట్ టు యూనివర్సిటీస్ బట్ ఐ నెవర్ స్టాప్ లర్నింగ్ ఐఎమ్ స్టిల్ ఎ స్టూడెంట్ so that's the only criteria i came here as a a fellow student not as someone who is experienced or who has achieved something i came like you i want to seek something from you i want to learn something from you that's what made me to uh, come to this spring spree cultural festival varangal gurinchi cheppukovalante munduga rani rudrama devi elin neela hazari mangamma అంగరక్షకురాలుగా రాణి రుద్రమదేవకి తిరిగాడి నేల బమ్మెర పోతన భాగవతాన్ని రచించిన నేల దాసరథి కృష్ణమాచార్యులు గారు కాళోజీ గారు ఇలాంటి మహానుభావులు ఎందరో వచ్చిన ఈ ఓరుగల్లకి నాకు వచ్చే అవకాశం ఈ విధంగా లభించినందుకు మనస్ఫూర్తిగా ధన్యవాదాలు తెలుపుకుంటా ఉన్నాను ఐ రియలైజ్డ్ It's almost from across our entire, entire India, Pan-India, all this, to all the students from different, from different languages who are from different backgrounds. Wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly, a good evening to you all. My heartfelt namaskars to you all. First, let me begin. I'm not used to going to colleges, going to universities. i'm not used to it it is a very difficult thing for me to give a speech no a different speech like this i don't like to give you any kind of advice but i would like to share few things from my life which would be of any kind of help if it could become any kind of help i would be glad by the end of this speech so almost 6 decades back when pandit jawaharlal nehru and pandit jawaharlal nehru opened up this 
no one would thought this is going to give a produce a, a brilliant students who would contribute to the indian economy indian science and technology advancement no one would have thought so that kind of from that kind of situation almost it finished six decades and the most beautiful aspect about this cultural festival is instead of just mere about sciences technology making this as a cultural festival to bring out the students and to celebrate a three day to seven day event like this would be really a great transformation art science and technology is needed in life for our betterment for our advancement but art is the one which unites us all whether you are a maharashtrian you are a tamilian you are a telugu telangana andhra no matter which state northern is sikkim nagala no matter wherever you are from it is the art which unites us all that's the reason even a song like not not to could go to the oscar and could unite all of us so i had interesting stories about nit some of you might be going for a campus placements first let me congratulate you i hope you all the best i don't know what exactly to say in the english but i would like to say in telugu mee hostel majjilo unna ee canteen pain chettlu nunchi any bird dropping if it falls on your shoulder or somewhere on your body it makes you that you get a placement so that's what i heard so hopefully without going through that process i wish you all the best to go through the placement i wish you all get a right jobs for your abilities and for your expertise i would like to see culture is the one which really unites us all you are all science students and humanity is is very very essential humanity is the one gives the purpose philosophy art forms social sciences this all would give you the purpose of any invention the ultimate learning for anything is for a betterment of other other human beings betterment for all the individuals for entire humanity so in that way really learning and this festival really made me quite interesting as it is a cultural festival i am interested in right from in my childhood right from my childhood long back i read a book called when i was a kid 1000 great lives it's about the 15th century renaissance man leonardo da vinci who was the inventor a military engineer sculptor painter what not it's all about it's all about a complete development a total human development so leonardo da vinci was uh, my role model as a kid i never admired or never thought any uh, my hero was uh, leonardo da vinci all through my life i want to be like him to become an inventor to become a scientist to become so many things but somehow i could not achieve it but i had never stopped walking in his footsteps so this kind of learning we have to take leonardo da vinci as a role model never stop learning i had never stop learning till to date if you look at all you are equipped with a great knowledge great expertise but if all the knowledge and expertise does not help the our fellow human beings or humanity the purpose would be lost if you look at israel with the one river jordan with all the difficulties the terrain which is not convenient for agriculture 
and completely surrounded by so many hostile nations, but they are able to do extreme innovation in, the, in agriculture, in military technology, in IT, what not many things. Somehow it all depends on never run away from a conflict, never run away from any kind of adversity, especially never run, run away from any kind of failure. Be damn confident. If you go through failures, face it, go through it and break the pattern and achieve that. So for me, any kind of hardship, any kind of hostile environment, I take it as a challenge. I never run away from any kind of defeat. I never walk out from any kind of failure. And learning is a continuous process. And I know that today if I fail, tomorrow I'm going to win. It is not about, it's not just about what I'm going through. But right from my childhood, this is what I told myself. Be a dreamer. You don't lose anything. At this age, when you're in teens, when you're just in the early 20s, you will go through a lot of things. You'll go through humiliation. Would I be successful? You have many kind of doubts, speculations. But one thing, be very clear. No matter what, you're going to achieve it. All the failures, every possible negative situation, you can turn it into a positive manner and you can pave the path for success. And it is about so many people, every day do, uh, what I do is, I do a little bit every, of everything. I have a five-year plan, a 10-year plan, a 20-year plan. Whether I achieve it or not, I keep on pursuing, I keep on doing that hard work. I never run away from any kind of negative situation. And also, you have to have a very strong moral code of yours. What, is, what are your rights and what are your wrongs? What is your code of conduct? Legally, you might be right, but morally, one could be wrong. So it is about you try to have your own moral compass. It is not, don't try to, I don't, for example, when I was doing my intermediate, I had a chance to pass the exam by taking some slips and my friends were copying. I was looking at it. I would have passed, but I thought, would I feel good by the end of the day? Suddenly I remembered Mohandas Karamchand Gandhiji's life, uh, life lesson. When he tried to copy in a school and he said no to it. So I took the example of Gandhiji and never copied. I failed. I didn't succeed, but I failed. I took that failure in a dignity rather than coming in a cutting in a shortcut way and achieving exam results, good results. I prefer to be a failure with honesty. So that's what I believe. Because you have to have a very strong moral compass. So what are, you, what are your moral guidelines? What would be you would be planning to achieve in which way? Don't have any kind of shortcuts in life. Shortcuts might be giving you an edge for a time being. Eventually, you would, you would get caught up with your wrongs. So I advise you, I request you, don't cut short. Don't try to take shortcuts in life. Face the hardships, face the difficulties, and you would be a better person. Society has so many intellectuals, so many capable people. And you know about the first father of nuclear bomb, Oppenheimer. Technology and innovation should have a human face. We should have empathy. And Oppenheimer, after blasting the first nuclear bomb, he said, we have unleashed death. I have become the death merchant. And that kind of technology would, will never make us happy. It is about a simple invention, a simple app which would better lives. For example, in recent times, we know about Steve Jobs. 
He's the greatest modern day innovator. His Apple is one of the most valuable companies on the planet with a line of products from Apple laptops to iPods and iPhones. Apple products are tech savvy, classy and comes with great features. If you had iPhone 13 last year, this year you had to buy the next one and next year and so on. But the key question to ask is, how many Indians can afford the latest iPhone? How many people in the world can afford iPhone? Not even 5% of the world can afford Apple products. But thousands of techies in global giant like Apple spend 90% of its <coughs> R&D and time for that niche 2 to 3% of world population. But what I would prefer is, I'll never say Steve Jobs kind of entrepreneurs are not needed, but they're needed. But I would like to share one more story of how many of you would, would be knowing this story? It's Dr. Dilip Mahalanibis during the 1971 Liberation War. <coughs> Over 10 million people from nearby areas of present-day Bangladesh entered into India as refugees. A massive cholera epidemic started in the refugee camps. There were hardly any medicines or trained staff or doctors. Dr. Dilip Mahalanibis deployed the ORS uh, ORS therapy, which is known as oral rehydration solution, even before it was given approval by the authorities. Even though the doctor took the flak, this, time, this timely intervention saved millions of people and thanks to his ORS therapy. It saved 5 crores lives globally. Today, all the 190 plus countries use ORS. The Lancet Journal called the ORS therapy as the greatest discovery of 20th century. He, but he never patented, that's what I'm trying to say. His brilliance, his intelligence, intelligence his intellectual prowess, he never paid, in spite of having everything, but he never patented this, his therapy and did not exploit it for a commercial purpose. At the age of 87 years, the great human being passed away last year and was awarded the Padma, Padma Bhushan by the government of India. Even today, 24 by 7, 365 days, his innovation saves millions of people all over the world. So my advice is to all the graduates, gonna be graduates, here is to think about ideas and innovation that are simple, successful, sustainable, scalable, and work on tech that improves social mobility and reduces inequalities. So admire and adore Steve Jobs, but find your own Dilip Mahalanibis in you. Besides all the jars, gloss, and shiny glitz, what's more important is not the tech, but the impact which is going to cause to, the, to your fellow human beings. And you think about Nikola Tesla. He had 300 imp uh, innovations, inventions, but he never patented. He gave all his patent rights. And he believes that it, should belongs, it belongs to the world. And look at, I look at very heroes, not from on silver screen. Don't look at me and don't adore me, but adore the people who made you to come here. A teacher in a school, a teacher in a college, a professor who taught you something. Maybe heroes are good to be entertained. Even including me, I'm saying, I'm okay to be entertained. But don't, you have to take, you have to look at the heroes who are beside, around you. Maybe from your parents' side. That's what I believe in. So we have to look at heroes around. If you look at a simple man called Dasarath Manji, if you look at all these kind of people, I think of a Telugu poet, a revolutionary pro poet, who has inspired many people to serve, to serve people who are away from development, under development, that kind of people he had influence. His name is Sri Sri. And he says, Taj Mahal Nirmana ne Kiralitana Kuli Levanta ever. So why I'm saying this is, and how many people, hard, how many, how much of hard work went in building up Taj Mahal? That's what he questions, a rhetorical question. So in the same way, you should think about how many people had made you to come to REC, oh, sorry, NIT. How many people must have made their, made their contribution to be what you are today? So it's a time to pay back. Once you achieve something, it's a time to pay back. 
I'll share an example from my own life. I did around uh, four to five, I think around five to seven films. I'm a mad, committed patriot. I'm in love with my nation. I'm in love with my linguistic differences. I'm in love with my country's, our country's cultural identities. With all this, I want to do something. When I grow up, I want to do some kind of contribution to my nation. But I was very disappointed the way society and politics function. So by the time I, fil I did a film called Kushi, I was very disappointed and depressed. I thought I want to do something for my nation, for my society. But I said, sad man, I can't do any damn thing. It all, all the development, all the change happens in cinema. Even if I want to do something, a little trivial help to someone, there's so many obstacles. Whatever the system doesn't allow me to do. I was so tired, I was so irritated with my own self and the society around me. And like anyone else, even I was also blaming the society. And I said, I want to migrate to New Zealand. I shot the, my few songs in uh, uh, New Zealand uh, uh, for Kushi film. I like that country. I want to migrate to that country. And if you pay somewhere around 50 lakhs to one crore, you could migrate at that point of time. I don't know right now how is the procedure. I got my migration, immigration papers. And I kept it for one month. Every day I look, I want to put a signature, I want to send it, I want to leave this country. And only I'll come for work because the reason is, and I'm the same guy with my kind of anthem. I said, Ye mera jaha, ye mera ghar, ye mera ashya, ye meri dunia. And I was the one with such a fervor and commitment. I got it written and I performed. But I'm the same guy who wanted to migrate. And something asked me inside, it is a society who made you for what you are. And today you're seeking your selfishness after making a name. You want to run away from, the, from your responsibilities. And my conscience killed me. So I tore the papers. I stayed within my country. And I'm serving my country within my own way. New Zealand. And I want to serve. So my, my, share, my thought is, it's about how many people made me. How much hard work went in making a film or doing something, uh, got me educated, my parents and everything. It is this nation, this society, which gave, gave me all this. So I decided that I would never run away from this nation, even. I'm not saying all the people who have gone abroad or something, they're not, I'm not saying they're wrong, but there are a lot of people who want to come and contribute to our nation. You all dream, one day I want whatever the brain drain went to other countries, one day in the same, some form, I want them to create such kind of atmosphere in our country where they would come and contribute and make another, where they would contribute to become this country as a superpower. That's what I believe in and I request you all. Today what I'm sharing with you is, you are the, you are the future. And you have to take responsibility for your own life. You don't try to run away. Whatever I'm doing today, I started around two decades back. I said I made some money. I made a name. And I don't, just don't want to confine myself for my comforts. Na sukalu, na saukyalu kadu. Kastalu, wak nalgondalo, ekkado maru mula. In a nook and corner of a, a district in, the, in our Telangana. When they were going through fluoride issues, I said, I want to contribute. I want to do something. Somewhere in Adilabad, Tanda, when there is no drinking water, I want to do my bit part. But once, why I have chosen politics is to serve more. I'm not interested in money. I'm not interested in fame. I'm not interested in taking, uh, giving autographs. I'm not interested. I'm interested only to serve the nation. I feel it is my payback. It is my gratitude because this country, not desam, this is what my country has given me. I want to make sure in my lifetime, I'll pay back. Thank you. I'm going to go to the students. I'm going to go to the
with all your intellectual abilities, why I said Leonardo da Vinci in the beginning, Leonardo da Vinci or Nikola Tesla, apart from their intellectual prowess and abilities and skills, they're physically very strong people. And it is like, as, as a Roman poet said, a sound mind in a sound body. Never, don't confine yourself only to intellectual stimulation. Physically, you have to be damn fit. Physically, you have to be strong. I urge you to become intellectual warriors. Intellectually, you have to be very strong. And physically also, one should be strong. And I'm that kind of, that's the reason why I went for martial arts is to make myself strong. It is not to hit people. It is not to abuse somebody, but to defend me, to defend myself at the same time, to have a, a very strong a physical discipline, which will have some kind of, uh, some kind of holistic development would be there in me if I practice any martial arts. And you won't be cruel. If you know how to defend yourself, your violence quotient would be very, very minimal. And apart from that, never stop learning. Books are the training weights of the mind. Never stop learning. Even till today. In fact, I was sharing with one of your students, a former student. I was reading, about, I used to read about a lot of uh, physics and uh, mathematics books. Even I still keep ordering books. Even I, I keep on reading about calculus, algebra. Not, not that I understand a lot. But I keep on learning because I had given up somewhere intermediate. Still, I try to learn algebra. Still, I learn to learn. Uh, still, I keep learning calculus. But the most beautiful thing is, I keep on learning physics and about uh, Douglas Hofstadter wrote a book called The Eternal Golden Brain. It's about the reason is one though I don't understand that much, but I keep on learning. It's because it keeps on stimulating my mind. And it always it limits me. Maybe I might be, if I go onto the roads, maybe I might be getting uh, lakhs of people, great encouragement, great love, which makes me egoistic. It could have made me egoistic if I would not be learning. The reason I keep on learning different subjects is it, it, keep, it teaches me humility. A subject which you don't know. A subject which you're not aware of. If you keep learning, what happens is you Calm down yourself. I said, I don't know something. If you assume only this is me, maybe because if I go out, lakhs of people might be appreciating me. I said, I won't take it seriously. What I would take seriously is I am ignorant. I don't know much because I don't know this. I don't know about algebra. I don't know about calculus. I don't know much about physics. So most of the people, you have to have a whole brain development. Even for, for example, my friend, the director, Mr. Trivikram Srinivas also. So you have to understand in film industry, there are a lot of brilliant people out there. They're highly educated. He was a, Mr. Trivikram Srinivas is, he, was, he graduated from Andhra University in nuclear physics. He was a university gold medalist. But he has chosen his films to be carried, uh, as a career. So arts and science can go together, even if you look at James Cameron, he was an engineer. So all these things makes you, to, you somewhere you should understand the integrity, integrating science and humanities together that makes you a far, far superior achiever. Till to date, though I, am, I come from the humanities background, I keep on learning sciences, I keep on understanding technology, I keep on updating myself on multiple subjects. So never stop exploring this, your learning in a, a comprehensive way. When you want to learn something, long back I read a book called Super Learning. So anything you want to learn, it is a 10,000 hour job. At one point of time I was scared to face crowds and never used to. I never used to face crowds and never used to. I never used to face crowds and never used to. Now, Abhi Prayan Shabda Vante Bhaiyo Naku. Idi Bhagaledan Shabda Vante Bhaiyo. I was continuously scared of everyone to express myself. Though I was reading a lot, I was absorbing a lot, I used to practice a lot, but I was scared. But I keep on conquering my fear. 
it's about all of you must be developing your intellectual muscle and mental muscle you also should develop a muscle of courage unless you keep on practicing it dhairyam manam six pack chestam eight pack inga heavy kandalu penchutam gaani we forget to step pump up the courage gunde gunde balanu kuda penchal man so you have to strengthen the your apart from your mental muscle you have to pump up your muscle of courage so never try to take any bold decision irrespective of failure that's how you keep on growing and as you keep growing good so it's about sorry to say it's about 10000 our rule anything you want to learn in life you can learn but you have to give sufficient amount of time it is minimum at 10000 hours to get a mastery over it so what i did was i used to keep on imagining myself that i would be speaking to lakhs of people that's the only dream i had and i want to say something without fearless bhayam lekunda ela maatladali bhayam lekunda evarnaina oka tappu jarigithe ela edurukovali this is what i had practiced i took responsibility and i had faced and it is very very essential when something is happening right in front of you some mistake is happening in front of you take responsibility and you when you face something when you go through such and certain situations for example i used to get like everyone else once when i was shooting a film called toli prema right in front of my eyes someone had met with an accident something uh, he was a biker he collided with some uh, four wheeler and he fell down his so entire body was he was bleeding and most of the people were looking at him and they gathered around including my own uh, shooting crew they gathered around him and everyone were having an opinion but no one is taking charge i was supposed to get into the sh- shot i was having a white shirt and the black trousers i have forgotten everything i lifted him put him in the car and taken him to hospital i said help with the shooting first i want to save this man's uh, life what i'm saying is sometimes in the process of achieving we tend to overlook what is happening around us i never made i always made a choice my success can stay but this man's life should be saved so i have che- i have taken a, a a choice where to stand someone who is losing the verge of losing their life so most of the time this is how you pump up your muscle of courage pump up your muscle of responsibility as you keep doing do you doing it only you'll become a better human being so that that one thing i would like to share with you from my life and second would be is especially for the younger students you came from different uh, states of india our country you came from us you must have come from assam delhi rajasthan nagaland chatisgarh from different southern states kerala tamil nadu and it is about we all have cultural differences we all have linguistic differences we all have linguistic differences we all have cultural differences let us not forget what unites is is bharatiyata mana bharatiyata ani ekatve manandani kalipunchu it no matter whether what you are who you are whether you are tamilian tamil nirkalam whether you could be tamilian you could be kannadiga you could no matter who you are whoever you are you are, we are all indians first bharatiyata is the one which holds us which binds us so the only reason is we, and especially in college campuses you will have many political ideologies not just one different isms are there but in the process of isms in the pursuit of isms never lose the focus of your humanism మానవత్వాన్ని ఇజంలో పడిపోయి రకరకాల ఇజాల్లో పడిపోయి మానవత్వం అనే ఇజంని మటుకు దయచేసి మనం మర్చిపోకూడదు అండ్ మోస్ట్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ సైంటిఫిక్ సైన్స్ స్టూడెంట్స్ అండ్ సైన్స్ అండ్ టెక్నాలజీ స్టూడెంట్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ ఆఫ్ వెన్ డయాగ్రామ్ దట్ వెన్ డయాగ్రామ్ ఈజ్ ఆల్ అబౌట్ త్రీ సర్కిల్స్ నో మ్యాటర్ దే లుక్ డిఫరెంట్ దే హ్యావ్ డిఫరెంట్ డేట్ ఆన్ రీచ్ సర్కిల్ బట్ దే దెర్ ఇస్ అ కామన్ ఇంటర్సెక్షన్ పాయింట్ so think about it no matter even with your bitterest enemies with your bitter rivals always try to find a common commonality and common minimum ground where you could come together and work together so in that way 
take inspiration from a Venn diagram, which, is, which, which would have been uh, taught at your school level. So take the inspiration from a Venn diagram, where we have to, we can be united, no matter how many different di di diversified ideologies we might be going through, but we can always, we can come together at a common minimum intersection point. So that's how I can uh, tell you about in a Venn diagram. So my final words would be, I would like to say, Mahandra Kshaptana, Manishulandaru matlaade bashal prakara vidipoi unnaru, unde desal prakara vidipoi unnam, ada maga teadalaga vidipoi unnam, pedda chinnna vai silvari ga vidipoi unnam, art science ani groupal ga vidipoi unnam, engineering branch lo mechanic, chemical, computers ani vidipoi unnam, artist lani IT ani engineer lani tech ani rutul vari ga vidipoi ankani, manandar ni irosu na kali pitis ko chindi. Manaloni Kalatpaka Guna, this artistic festival. Yanto Mandin, we with the Desalinj, we with the Rastalinj of Chinavarni, we with the Rutulavarni, Ada Maga, Tiada Lekunda, we with the Bashalavarik, okay, good to keep this coach in a Vedika, is Spring Spree, E Vedika Manandra Kalavarani Karanam, Manandralo Dagivuna, artistic conum. So always, as I said, art unites the humanity, and this is really proud it. So, my dear friends, and the young, beautiful minds, scientific minds of scientific temperament, whether it's through painting, movies, musical, musical renditions, technological marvels, or engineering breakthroughs, we should recognize and appreciate the artists within. We're all artists in one way or the other, another, and we need to realize that. So go out there and make your mark on the world and be proud to say. The world is my canvas, the world is my cellulite, the world is my workbench, my circuit board, the world is my operating system, my hinge and lever, the world is my guitar, my tabla and my voice. Gnanam vakkatu nilichi veligun anta swarga sukumbul annuvi, swarga sukumbul annuvi avani vilasulani teli jeskuntu. Mendar ki manspurtiya dhanyavadal teli jeskuntu. Salavadhi jeskuntu. Yakari ye desi megena, yendu kalidana, Yakari kilina, pogadara ni tali bumi barthene. Mane manandani kalipunchina, tali bumi barthiki, JJ Lutelipundu, Danyavada Lutelipundu, Nakyavaka Sanichina, MIT, Pedalaki, Peri Peruna, Danyavada Lutelipundu. The world is yours, Bavishat the Midi. Future is yours. And I expect you to all the students from all the nook and corner of our country, make sure you gonna decide the future of this nation. Don't let give it to anybody else. You take complete control of this nation, complete control of your future, and make this country proud. And I would like to do my bit part. And Bharat Matak Jejal Telepkundu Jai Hind Jai Bharat.